Transtheism is a term coined by either philosopher Paul Tillich or Indologist Heinrich Zimmer referring to a system of thought or religious philosophy which is neither theistic, nor atheistic, but is beyond them. Zimmer applies the term to the theological system of Jainism, which is theistic in the limited sense that the gods exist, but become irrelevant as they are transcended by moksha that is, a system which is not non-theistic, but in which the gods are not the highest spiritual instance. Zimmer 1953, p. 182, uses the term to describe the position of the Tirthankaras having passed beyond the godly governors of the natural order. The term has more recently also been applied to Buddhism, Advaita Vedanta and the Bhakti movement. Terminology Nathan Katz in Buddhist and Western Philosophy 1981, p. 446 points out that the term, transpolytheistic would be more accurate, since it entails that the polytheistic gods are not denied or rejected even after the development of a notion of the absolute that transcends them, but criticizes the classification as characterizing the mainstream by the periphery, like categorizing Roman Catholicism as a good example of non-Nestorianism. The term is indeed informed by the fact that the corresponding development in the West, the development of monotheism, did not transcend polytheism, but abolish it, while in the mainstream of the Indian religions, the notion of gods diva was never elevated to the status of god, or Ishvara, or the impersonal absolute Brahman, but adopted roles comparable to Western angels. Transtheism, according to the criticism of Katz, is then an artifact of comparative religion. Paul Tillich uses transtheistic in The Courage to Be 1952, as an aspect of Stoicism. Tillich stated that Stoicism and Neo-Stoicism are the way in which some of the noblest figures in later antiquity and their followers in modern times have answered the problem of existence and conquered the anxieties of fate and death. Stoicism in this sense is a basic religious attitude, whether it appears in theistic, atheistic, or transtheistic forms. Like Zimmer trying to express a religious notion that is neither theistic nor atheistic. However, the theism that is being transcended in Stoicism according to Tillich is not polytheism as in Jainism, but monotheism, pursuing an ideal of human courage which has emancipated itself from God. The courage to take meaninglessness into itself presupposes a relation to the ground of being which we have called absolute faith. It is without a special content, yet it is not without content. The content of absolute faith is the God above God. Absolute faith and its consequence, the courage that takes the radical doubt, the doubt about God, into itself, transcends the theistic idea of God. Martin Buber criticized Tillich's transtheistic position as a reduction of God to the impersonal, necessary being of Thomas Aquinas. <laughs> <laughs> Buddhism as transtheistic Following the term coined by the philosophers Tillich and Zimmer, Buddhism can be regarded as a transtheistic religion. This can be evident by the transcendence of the state of nibbana nirvana that surpasses all the realms of existence, including the planes of devas and brahmas who are considered gods in Buddhist cosmology. The historical Buddha made it clear that the path to enlightenment does not depend on a god or gods. Although there is acknowledgement of a multitude of gods in the oldest Buddhist scriptures, there is also reference to Maha Brahma, who considered himself to be the all-powerful all-creator god, only to be critiqued by the Buddha as having wrongly perceived his plane of existence as the highest. See also Antitheism Apatheism Ayatism Jain cosmology Nonduality Nontheism Nontheistic religions Pantheism Post-monotheism Post-theism Prakarnaka Sutra Synthism Transcendence Notes <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible>